every landowner dreams of a nest egg to put away for their retirement. Perhaps a tree plantation like this one. These hardwoods are ready for harvest. They're about 15 metres high and each will produce around a cubic metre of timber worth approximately $900. And how long did it take for this investment to mature? In most plantations, for just about every tree species grown in volume in Australia, harvesting would occur after 25 years. But these trees are unique. They have an incredible growth rate which brings them to maturity after just three years. After growing about six metres in their first six months, they're ready to wood chip in three years and produce millable timber in five. It takes both Maranti and red cedar, the closest domestic replacement, about five times as long to mature. This tree here is eight years old. It's about 60 feet tall, and at the moment it's got a girth. I can hardly reach around it, as you can see, and the girth breast high is 66 inches. We've calculated this 1.2 cubic metres of log up to the first branch there, and it could easily be used for timber cutting now. It's more than ready to harvest, but because it's one of our favourite trees, we're not going to harvest it, we're just going to let it get bigger and bigger. The perception that you can grow a tree and harvest it within, in less than 10 years is a very important economic factor. Jeff says the freedom this sort of income insurance gives the growers is especially welcome in the present economic climate. We have timber that's been harvested three years old and we've got it eight years old. And there isn't a really big significant difference. But once you get it into the field like, and put it out at the plantation development stage, after about the first three to six months of an, an, an initial stage there, it, it, it's more or less duty free. You don't have to do anything. And once all that's happened, you can cut them down to the ground and they grow straight back. Because once it's been finished off and placed in view, it will, is what people want to see. And this is what consumers see. Pale, fine grain timber ready to be used raw or stained just about any colour. It's easy to handle and the logs can be left where they're felled. The timber won't warp or buckle. It doesn't even have to be kiln dried. It can be left to air dry for several weeks, then a mill like this can be set up directly over the top. This keeps mid-level costs down. The boards can be taken directly from the farm to the timber yard. To the cutting edge of genetic engineering technology, they're cloning kiri trees. Amazing plants which grow one metre a month, reaching 20 metres in just five years. Each shoot is cut into five. The pieces grow in a special gel and can be cloned a further five times, meaning one shoot can produce an infinite number of trees. The technology is seen as so vital to supplying the world's timber industry, an American company is sponsoring the charity to continue its work.